This is a 32 year old female with calcific tendonitis of the left shoulder. We're going to go ahead and do an ultrasound guided barbitage. X ray shows some calcium, looks like in the supraspinatus tendon. So, ultrasound shows that as well. She has really very limited motion. She can't really move the shoulder much at all, and she's pretty tender to touch with greater tuberosity. Here we're going to go over this calcific tendonitis barbitage. Here's some of the anatomy. You can see the deltoid muscle which essentially drapes over the shoulder, covering much of the anatomy of the shoulder. Now we're rotating laterally, we're making the deltoid muscle translucent. You can see the underlying rotator cuff with the teres minor, infraspinatus, and supraspinatus tendons visible here. You can appreciate the acromioclavicular joint as well. Now we're rotating anteriorly, and you can appreciate the subscapularis muscle. Here's this calcific deposit in the distal supraspinatus tendon. She's probably had this for quite some time, but for some reason it just flared up recently. It's pretty sizable calcific density that this patient had. Here, the, again, the supraspinatus tendon is translucent. So in this procedure, the patient was supine. We essentially just used an 18 gauge needle to go directly into this calcific deposit, which you can see here. And then using about four or five vials of saline, we just essentially injected saline into this calcific density, expanding it, and then aspirating saline with, with calcium. And at the end of the procedure, there was much less calcium within this deposit, and I think most of it was removed. Here's a different perspective. Here's the calcific density already somewhat broken up perhaps from the saline and the barbitage and now we're injecting more saline into this calcific density which you can appreciate here and it breaks up the calcium itself. So not only are you aspirating calcium but you're also breaking up increasing the surface area and ability to resorb the calcium. And here it is towards the end of the procedure where most of the calcium is gone essentially. You can still see some of that saline coming out of the needle. Here's our first cut. We can see that calcium deposit essentially kind of right over the kind of the middle-ish facet. Here again, you can see a pretty large calcific deposit in the distal aspect of the supraspinatus tendon as it begins to insert, I believe, on the middle facet here, the greater tuberosity. You can also appreciate the humeral head, thick layer of hyaline cartilage on the humeral head. Now we're going in with an 18-gauge needle. We're just trying to go in once okay, to try to get the yeah, tip within the, the midst of this right calcific now. deposit. <sighs> and then essentially just inject saline and barbitage it. So here you can see the tip within the calcific deposit. It's taken up a fair amount of that distal supraspinatus tendon, not much of any subdeltoid bursitis that you can appreciate. So that was basically going in with lidocaine. We um, injected lidocaine in the calcific deposit to add some comfort to the procedure. Okay, there's our first syringe of saline, okay? So here we are at 1020. We're just, again, just going in with saline here. So you can see some saline trickled down actually from that calcific deposit. It looks like into the dependent You can see a little bit of, of that calcium going bursa. into the syringe right now. And this calcific deposit is really pretty superficial. You don't have to penetrate much of the supraspinatus tendon in order to get into this deposit. And now we're just, this is probably our fourth or fifth syringe of saline. Um, and we're just essentially trying to flush out all the calcium or as much as we can out of that calcific density. And here you can see basically just fluid filling up that cavity where there once was calcium. Kind of like a fish mouth appearance right now when you inject the saline, the back pressure automatically collapses that um, right, cavity essentially. So uh, you don't have to actually pull back on the syringe in order to get the saline that you injected back into it, uh, it will just automatically come back. So now we're doing the cortisone injection. Uh, we're trying to pull back the needle out of the calcific deposit or out of that cavity into the subdeltoid bursa. Um, and that's essentially the last part of the procedure. Important to do cortisone in the subdeltoid bursa as any calcium within the bursa or around the joint can be very irritating.